Pukima Ono. Ano, welcome back. Hack leader David Seymour has been served a sledging by his parliamentary colleagues, with Willie Jackson calling him a useless Māori. The party Māori went even further. Here's political reporter Amelia Wade with what sparked the stoush. Willie Jackson starting his Tuesday unmasking, then absolutely unleashing. It's very sad watching Seymour, a man who claimed he was Māori. You just don't know where he's coming from now. Jackson only warming up with his David Seymour sledging segment. Absolutely deliberately dog, dog whistling. Still not done. Just a useless Māori, that's all. Do you identify as a useless Māori? <laughs> Look, I, I'm proud of my Māori whakapapa, I'm proud of all of my heritage. Te Pāti Māori taking the takedown of their house neighbour even further. David Seymour is a disgrace. Uh, he uses his Māori whakapapa to weaponise against his own people. What sparked the parliamentary pile-on were the hefty cuts in Seymour's proposed alternative budget, like scrapping the ministries for women, Māori development, Pacific peoples, ethnic communities, the Office for Crown Māori Relations and the Human Rights Commission. We shouldn't need whole ministries to represent types of human. National coming under pressure over what policies they'd pick from their potential coalition partner. Axe great Ministry Cull ruled out. That is you not our policy. Will not happen if you form a government with that. That is not our policy. Seymour wasn't the only MP to draw Jackson's ire today, also serving Shane Reti a rebuke for saying that Māori health inequities, i.e. that Māori live on average seven years less than non-Māori, should be seen in the context of the last two centuries. Life expectancy in 1840, for Māori it was 30 years. Today it's 73.4 years, so over time there has been improvements. It's not an argument against uh, Māori Health Authority. What it is, it's an argument for respecting the work that's been done that brings us through to this point. Oh, nonsense. Nonsense. Uh, and I, and I, look, don't get me wrong, I respect Shane. A respected Ritty, not immune, from Jackson's Tuesday tirade. Amelia Wade, News Hub.